Hello everybody, welcome back to another movie review. In today's movie review, we're going to be doing Insidious um, 2010, which is the only Insidious, uh, not the only Insidious in the franchise, but we'll get to the other ones as long as I watch them, but I haven't watched to Okay, so, this movie, I haven't watched in forever, okay? Uh, this movie's getting gnarly, this movie has a lot of good jump scares. The reason why I, watched, I haven't watched this movie forever, I just kept watching over and over again because I got bored of it and eventually got bored of it, so I stopped watching it and I didn't find it scary no more. But when I rewatched it like a couple months later or something like that or a year ago, it's fucking scary. Like, it's like one of those type of movies that mm, you don't know what's going to happen in it, you don't know what's going to go down. And, uh, all that shit might go down in the movie. But, if you're a big horror fan, like me, you'll understand what, like, there's a lot of ghost spirits, jump scares, which I always love, and it's really good to me. Um, the woman in the bra- woman in black, that's the scariest fucking entity in this fucking, um, movie. Cause she's just so fucking scary, like, I don't know how to explain it. <sighs> Whoever played her did a good ass job. But I know it's makeup and shit, but when I watched this shit, when I watched this the first time, like, ever, the first time, which like a couple years ago, scared the living shit out of me. I couldn't sleep. But, yeah, so the movie's not bad, and you know what? This is probably one of my, um, best 2010 movies. Well, what else came out in 2010? But, whatever. I don't care. This is the best scary movie that came out in 2010. But, if you like horror mo movies and you never watch this ever, watch it. Great fucking horror movie. It will scare the shit out of you. If, you, if you're if you immune to horror, like, if you don't get scared, then... If you still watch it, I think you'll still like it because it has a good story and shit. But, yeah. I'm not going to go, like, uh... I'm not going to explain what happens in the movie. You're going to go have to find out yourself if you ever watched the movie. But, the movie's great. Like, in general. Um, what else? Yeah, at the end, I'll just do one spoiler, I guess. A lot of, I guess, whoever watched this and has never watched the series, go watch it. Um, and, uh, might do a commentary on this shit. But, at the end, if you don't, so, Elise, if you don't know who she is, then you have to watch the movie. But, um, Elise, um, so, um, her, her and Josh are, I guess she putting her stuff away, and Josh is, like, putting shit in the fireplace hole on Alright, putting stuff in the fireplace, and, uh, Josh is like, um, you show me a different world, I guess, and she's like, no, I, no, I haven't, you've been to that place, and, uh, well, I don't, Josh says, I don't need these no more, and then plays the weird music, as I, and Josh get, hands the photos to, or pictures to Elise, and, uh, Elise senses something wrong. And, um, she's like, nothing. Takes the picture. Like, grabs the camera, takes the picture. Josh gets mad. Strangles her. And, uh, Renee comes in the room. You know, Renee, you don't know who she is. She's Josh's, ugh, Josh's wife. But, comes in the room, is looking for Josh all over the house, running around, looking for Josh, and she drops the flashlight, picks up the camera, and what she finds is sh disturbing to her, shocking, because, which makes me have goosebumps, but you find on the camera, this woman that you're looking at right here, comes on the camera, I'll, I'll find a different picture of it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Insidious. 
ending. So she finds this on the camera. She finds that on the camera. Finds that on the camera. And, um. Turns out. Dolman in black. Killed Elise. And which is, um, kind of shocking. A twist ending. But. The way that I knew. It wasn't really Josh. It's probably when he woke up, he looked like weirded out. Like, look at his eyes, he's like, What the hell? But it wasn't Josh that came back, it was Parker Crane, which I'll explain in the next movie review of Insidious Chapter 2. And, um, yeah, it's supposed to be a twist ending. Elise is dead, a hand marks on her, and Josh is like, I'm right here. Movie ends, title screen, or title card, movie ends. So, movie is fucking awesome. 10 out of 10, easily. I could not put a movie 10 out of 10 if it's so good. 2010 movie. It's just not the movie in general. It's just how scary it is. And the music, too. So, hope you all enjoyed. And I'm going to make it and see it's 5 news very soon. I promise you. If you like that shit. But, um, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all.